If you're going to implement a new digital solution, then you want to be able to see that your stakeholders are not only using it, but that it is making their working lives a whole lot easier. Digital asset management, when used correctly, can offer a great return on investment that's sure to keep financial geek keepers happy. However, to ensure you're getting your money's worth, you need to be able to access insights and show adoption, use, and analytics associated with your solution. From anywhere within your branded binder portal, you'll be able to see the familiar settings cog in the top right corner. If you move your cursor over it, you'll see a drop-down menu that includes a users and rights option, which when selected, then offers four more analytics options from which you can evaluate performance and use. From here, you can manage user access requests and view and amend user management features. If we click through into this page, we can find some top-level metrics detailing the user and their interaction with the portal, including when they last logged in, how many times in total they have logged in, and the number of assets they have downloaded. You can also click through to these three metrics for more information. You also have the ability to search for a user or users either by name or profile. Admin users have the option to edit the user account, so if someone has switched teams, you can reflect this in the settings. However, should a stakeholder need to be removed, this can also easily be done using the delete key. They can also add user accounts very simply by using two actions to the right of the page. Add multiple users and add new user. To add a new user is very easy. You just need to click on the action and complete the detail form on the next page. Everything with a red asterisk is required. However, the more detail you can enter, the better. If you need to add a bulk of new users to the portal and don't want to do so one by one, you can select add multiple users and simply add them to the system by sending an invitation to all individuals requesting that they complete their profile. An admin will of course set rights and access, but by adding users in this way, you can save a great deal of time. You can also access group management, where you can see the user groups created and the individuals who contribute to each one as well as add a new group using the action to the right of the page. To do so is very simple. You just need to name the group, add a small description, and assign the users. And finally, you can manage the permissions of all user profiles. This is exceptionally handy when you need to make quick changes to user accounts. So, for example, say a marketing intern is promoted and will be running their own campaigns. They now need to be able to add and access a wealth of tasks in the workflow that they were once held back from. So you can simply amend their usage rights in the Manage Permissions page and give them the rights to do so. Simple. With Binder Insights, you can track your media usage, how long it took for the jobs to be created, and measure user adoption rates. In the top right, you can enter a custom date range to view insights for a specific time field. You can also add different metrics to create custom dashboards to visualize your data. In the media section, you can see how many assets were uploaded to your brand portal, how many were deleted, the view and download count, and view how many files were archived. This allows you to see your most popular and most used assets. In the user section, you can see how many new users have been created, the number of logins and logouts per user, and which users have downloaded the most assets. Because you can track users' activity, you can get insights on user adoption rates. And finally, in the Jobs section, you can see how many jobs have been created, the time they took to be created, the number of job revisions, and the number of revision rounds finished. With this section, you can get better insights into how long a particular campaign took to create, so you can plan ahead the next time. Each job also has a clickable link to the job and workflow. 